On the 28th of February 2018, I was diagnosed with testicular cancer. So you have what we call uh, testicular cancer. Basically, it's the most common type of testicular cancer and it's highly curable. I'll be going through chemotherapy on Monday and after chemotherapy, the chances of uh, producing sperm almost nil. Unfortunately, they were unable to see any sperm. The sperm bank for uh, round two, right before my chemotherapy, giving up hope 100%. We are believing for a miracle. It's a second sample, consistency, appearance, pH all okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, then yep. we check, also no sperm. Mm -hmm. After that, we check again, also no sperm. Also good. All right. Right. Okay, no worries. We woke up at 6 a.m. First cycle of chemotherapy starts today. I just feel like just tired. I feel like I want to sleep. First cycle success. On the day that I went for chemotherapy, I felt really normal. On the first night itself, there was this discomfort in the stomach. Day number three, it was very bad. No, it was so bad that I couldn't even sleep. On day five, which is today, better lah. but based on what the doctor said it doesn't apply to everyone maybe my body is a bit more sensitive to the drug of course we are here today because it's been a long while mm -hmm. you're classified as low risk mm -hmm. uh, so you just get one chemo yeah. may 2018 january 2019 you saw him and he was happy with your check how have you been i was, I was asked to just see you Go mm. through imaging again. Oh, yeah, right. It's four years. It's yeah. quite a long time. I think we'll start with um, tumor markers first. Sure. Yeah. And for a period of five years, if they are completely free from tumor, they can actually consider themselves to be free from cancer. It's really entirely up to the doctor or the patient to devise what kind of uh, follow up that is required. Right. Right. Perhaps we should do like a like a very thorough checkup yeah. this year. So I think we'll start with uh, blood investigations first. Right. Let's have a seat, I'll pass you the form uh, shortly. Sure. We're here again just to check up and check see up. what are our bonds now and mm -hmm. all that. We are at peace with whatever So medically you're okay? okay. Uh, physically injured from a bike fall, but, oh, okay. yeah. but uh, Internally wise, we just did the blood test with Dr. Bajo. So right after this, we'll go find out if cancer is all good. The volume of the semen is fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, that has never been the problem. But yeah. obviously the sperm count yeah. is zero. Mm -hmm. Okay, unfortunately. So it just reconfirms back like what we had seen earlier. Earlier on, yeah. On, yeah. yeah. Earlier on. I don't think there's much benefit in doing this anymore. Okay. okay. I think the adoption is the best option as it stands right now. Right. There are other things like, no, but these are all very uh, personal. If you are looking at that, then you can talk to my fertility nurses because there's a lot of counselling that is involved. If behind your mind this is not what you're looking at, yeah. then yeah. adoption is the way to go. We will definitely give you the supporting letters for adoption. So only thing is, a lot of patients of mine have told me that the waiting queue is very long. Mm -hmm. Some of them have been there for years. So for me, it's best that you go there and register. Mm -hmm. I will give you the supporting document. Sure. Okay, I mean, I actually read up online about like, if in his case, right, there's two scenarios. One is either there's like a blockage happening or he's really not producing any at all. So if it's in a scenario that it's being blocked, right, how do we know that? I need to go back to your hormonal test and everything else okay. and we check back again. I can give you a call and brief you later okay. again one more time. That would be more clear cut if we are saying the testis is normal size. Okay. okay, and the hormones are normal, then we are looking at levels of obstruction. Oh. Okay. So that's where we postulate okay, the structure is normal. Yeah. Hormones are normal, yeah. then why is it not coming okay. up? Then is there a potential for it to be a blockage? Mm -hmm. And yes, we are right, 70 80 percent is a blockage, mm -hmm. and we are in those situations we actually go straight and we retrieve the sperms, oh, right? And after that, conception is all fine, no okay. issues. But the challenge here is mm -hmm. if the testis is not the size, and obviously the hormones are already here, why here? We are looking at what we call as non obstructive azospermia. So when it is non obstructive, that means it's a, it's a failure component that is setting in. Yeah. Okay. So the testis functions in two ways. One, producing male hormones, which yeah. is most of the time no issues. Yeah. So being a man is never a question. Yeah. You know, 
is the component of having a child. Mm. So this is where the, the sperm production, sperm production seems to be much more sensitive yes. and that gets infected first. Okay. So that is the component. Mm -hmm. So if that is so, then going in and even doing a testicular biopsy and all is not going to retrieve anything very much. Uh, yeah, that you sense. know, the potential of getting even sperms mm -hmm. may be 20-30%, but the drawback is they may be very immature sperms. That means they are in the early stage of development. So yeah. then again, we are not able to use those sperms for fertilization. And, and the current situation with his hormones is that it's 100% in balance it, because he has only one, yes. I see. Yes. Okay. Why is it that adoption is actually very hard in Malaysia? I don't think there's a clear cut answer to that. I think it's the legal process and the avenue that it goes through. Mm -hmm. And I think it's also the country's law is quite tight. But sometimes it becomes a bit too tight that when there are readily eager parents, aging parents, let's right. put it this way, they're already 40 something. Oh, wow. And then they're saying that now I have to wait for another four or five years, you know, by the time you're already 50. 50, yeah. Then you adopt a child, then you are 60, you know, the child is 10 years old, yeah. you know, there's a commitment. Yeah. So this is where it becomes the issue and they wait for two, three years and then they don't follow through and right. they give up. I would prepare a letter for the welfare department right. for you. Yeah, just All so right. that so we that have, you a choice. have a choice. You have a choice, you can go in and always register with them. Right. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah, I'm good. Man. Thank you so much, Thank Doctor. You so much. Sorry, the information is here for your record okay. purpose. Thank you. And then I'll get the letter done. Yeah. Sure. Thank, Thank you, you so Dr. Much. See you. Okay guys, so it's been 4 years since I was diagnosed with testicular cancer and this is the most recent update. To those of you who have been pushing for updates, been asking for updates, I'm really sorry. Life happened, uh, a lot of things happened in 22. I tore my ACL, I broke my face, there's 3 plates here now and uh, we went and did our series and thankfully, in conclusion, there's no cancer cell spotted and the bad news is that we can't have kids. I have no sperm. We thought about adoption, we are open to it, but it's proving to be really difficult to adopt in Malaysia. It's not just the paperwork. We have couples who waited four years in and there's still no news. There's no update. So the scary thing about adoption is that we don't know when the baby will come, the kid will come. So we are still thinking how to go about this. To those of you who've been following, here it is. And putting that aside, the good news is I'm okay. This year will be the fifth year, whereby if I'm clear this year, if there's no cancer cell spotted this year, so I guess I can be considered free of cancer. Praise God for that. And in terms of having our own kid, Marion and I will keep you guys updated on that journey once it happens for now we're just living our lives chasing our dreams still continue following and thank you so much